Better? Ah, there we go. All right, so um, we're just gonna get going right, right, right away. Um, so one of the things we added this year was uh, AppArmor E2E project. Uh, Eric did the work for that, and so that can improve our testing. Um, and along with that, Mike's been working on uh, using KUnit to add uh, unit testing for our kernel. Uh, we've we found actually several bugs that um, aren't exposed, but hopefully, you know, we won't find any that are exposed, but we've been able to fix some things in the code because of this. Um, we had a whole bunch of releases this year, a lot of stable work, maintenance work. Um, way too much time on that. <laughs> Uh, improvements. Um, so for the LSM stacking namespacing stuff, there's been some changes. Uh, we're gonna we're landing. Uh, hopefully, we'll land it for the next kernel. Uh, the AppArm directory under proc to help with name uh, stacking. Uh, more interface virtualization. Uh, we have a, a user space FD API that's gonna land shortly that uh, allows people to pass around the FD to the the. In the interfaces so that it can be used in uh, containers. Uh, rework, so we're reworking the buffers. Uh, AppArmor uses a whole bunch of work buffers to do some of the stuff it does. Uh, they were per CPU, so on large systems that's a lot of memory. And, uh, and it had preempt disable around some of this because you didn't want to have to loop back in on the per CPU buffers. Um, so removing this makes, uh, real-time happy, um, and there's a whole bunch of cleanups once we get rid of the preempt disable that we can uh, do. Um, checkpoint data compression. So we have data in the kernel that we're bringing in for checkpoint restore support uh, for containers, and so since that's not, that's part of the data that's not used hardly ever or policy pieces that aren't used live in the kernel, uh, those get uh, compressed, so we're not using up so much kernel memory for those. Um, We've improved our attachment conflict resolution. So in kernel, there's improvements to, to deal with this when there's an overlap on policy. And uh, the compiler also picked up some improvements on the hint that it can give to the kernel. Uh, we have a whole bunch of state machine improvements. Uh, we refactored the matching engine. That hasn't quite landed yet, but it's landing soon. Uh, we've improved verifier checks. Uh, there was a couple cases where we found a couple bugs. Uh, so the, our verifier is really important, especially, well, we'll get to that in a minute, with some, some stuff we're gonna land. Um, we separated the permissions if, uh, that we're doing and our accept state handling from the state machine. Uh, this is being done so that the, the state machine can be more generic and be, can be used by other people if they want. Uh, we've improved the compiler performance a little bit and there's some work to improve it more. Um, and we've been working a little, middle, little bit towards making it a gen generic library. Um, and we just very recently added out-of-band transitions. And this is actually, comes back to Eric's talk, and this is gonna be used to fix the issue we have right now with the EVM uh, very uh, matching. Um, we did some init cleanups uh, in our init stuff. Um, we were hanging on to some code from 18 years ago uh, that's not used anymore. So some of that got deleted out. Uh, we try really hard to maintain compatibility for a long time, but that's just too old for us. Uh, we've removed almost all the Perl. I think the last bit is a, there's a little Perl script in our regression testing. Uh, so and we're also Python 3 everywhere if we have Python. Uh, AA notify got rewritten, um, which is our user space if you want a desktop notification about app armor policy stuff. Uh, there's been lots of cleanups and minor improvements, and bugs, bugs, and bugs, both creating and fixing. <laughs> uh, so what are we working on that's gonna land soon? Um, unprivileged policy. I was hoping we'd actually have this landed already, but we don't. Uh, we have the bits in place for this, but there's a few things that are still needed. Um, it needs to be safe. This is why the verifier is so important. Um, our state machine is more limited than BPF and it doesn't have the issues that BPF has, but we still need to make sure that there can be nothing uh, the un un unsafe policy can do to the kernel. Um, and user policy, 
unsafe policy, unpri unprivileged policy. It is composed with system policy. It's not replacing it. Um, users will get to define their own profiles for their applications if they want, uh, and the system will still get to use it. And applications, this will actually pick up where tasks can, instead of being a, a, a more global profile that can be applied over all kinds of things, this is actually per uh, task. So once it sets it, it's more like a sec comp filter in that sense. Um, notification interface. Uh, this is largely to really clean up some of the problems we have. Uh, really, policy development's a real pain right now, uh, especially if for the audit logs and stuff. We need to get that out of there. Uh, I'm not going to go into all that. And Unprivileged policy, this goes back to the unprivileged policy. We can't have unprivileged policy logging to the system audit logs. That's just a violation. Uh, it can leak information, but it also can cause DOSs and stuff easily then. So we don't want that. Um, there has been a major refactor of AppArmorFS that Mike's doing. It's in the works uh, to help improve it and make it better for containers. Um, We've got some audit improvements coming along. Uh, the EVM-based profile attachment, uh, the out-of-band transition stuff, but also there's a few other fixes around that. And so hopefully that'll fix all of Eric's problems with that. Uh, no new period of improvements. So Eric again mentioned problems around that where you have some fixes that should land for that soon. SecMark is a little farther out, but it's coming uh, hopefully this year. Um, we got uh, some work around system D and uh, early policy load uh, improvements uh, in being able to specify global policy, blacklisting, uh, application whitelisting. We can actually do that already, but right now it's a real pain to set up and do. And everybody asks about it, and it's like, well, this is too hard to set up, and it really is right now. So we have some work in there in progress there to make that easier. And that's it.